Prayer. We all love being on the receiving end of prayer, don't we? But what about, are you loving other people through the way that you pray for them? As Christians, prayer is about connecting with God. It's about talking to God. It's about bringing things before God, asking Him to intervene, asking Him to change and move on our behalf. The Bible says that we're to pray without ceasing. And Jesus is our great example. He prayed morning, noon and night. He prayed inside, he prayed outside. He prayed everywhere. And for you, it doesn't matter where you pray. It doesn't matter how you pray either. You can pray with words. You can pray in silence. You can pray kneeling or standing. You can pray in the shower. You can pray in your car. You can pray anywhere and in any way. Some people really enjoy praying by drawing, by writing, by expressing themselves and their heart to God. And that's what he's looking for. He's looking for people who are open or authentic and who declare God's word, who bring their heart one-on-one -on -one to Jesus. I encourage you to be someone who prays without ceasing, anywhere, at any time, and in any way that suits you and that you feel comfortable with. Prayer also, if you want to turbo boost your prayer, the Bible says to gather other people together and to pray with them. Where two or more are gathered, there He is in the midst of them. God wants us to talk with Him. He wants us to share the things that are in our heart. He wants us to bring before Him the needs and, and our concerns for our community and for our world. The Bible also says that to, we can pray with fasting. Fasting is like a turbo boost to our prayer, where we deny ourselves something in the physical, something natural, and then we, it, it, it helps with our prayers. Jesus fasted. Jesus fasted for many days. He's our great example of prayer and fasting. Cory Ten Boom, she puts it like this. She says, don't just pray when you feel like it, but make an appointment with God and then keep it. Doesn't he deserve our connection, our heart, our conversation with him? I encourage you today, church, to be people of prayer. Join us at the prayer meetings as well, 7 a.m., 7 p.m. on Zoom. And then this week, we're gonna do corporate prayer as well together. For the first time as Eastgate, it's gonna be a great time where we can talk with each other, but most importantly, we can talk with Him.